Hello and welcome to the Always Ready podcast brought to you by Harman Automotive. Now this is a program for automotive engineering and product management professionals and enthusiasts where we look at customer centric mobility experiences and also the technology driving them. My name is Oshin Dunny. I help great people, companies and organizations tell their best stories through podcasts, digital experiences and events. It is a great pleasure to welcome to the podcast Mike One. How are you doing my friend? Doing great. Glad to be here. That's fantastic. And are you having a good time at CES? Oh, I'm having an absolutely wonderful time. Great week, as you can hear from my voice. A lot of awesome conversations with customers, pitching our products, learning more about what they want. So awesome. That's, I'd love to hear it, man. And you know, a husky voice is a sound of a, is a sign of a very good CES in my humble opinion. Okay, well, Mike has an amazing CV. Mike is currently the head of software product management, ready upgrade at Harman, and he's a really accomplished product and technology leader with a wealth of experience, successfully leading cross-functional teams to develop and implement product strategies that drive business growth across multiple industries, including finance, telecom and large tech companies. Well, we really appreciate your time, Mike. I know you're very busy with customer meetings and a lot more, so let's bust right into it. Talk to us a little bit about what you do at Harman. So at Harman, uh, I lead the software product management team for Ready Upgrade. It's a portfolio of our domain controllers, and what people may not know is that's the brain of the vehicle. And so when you look around CES, all of the vehicles here, all of the demos are being powered by Ready Upgrade. So I lead a team of product managers who are tasked with developing powerful and innovative consumer experiences automotive grade for our OEMs and for their customers. We cover a lot of segments, even from motorcycles, agriculture, commercial vehicles, of course, the passenger vehicles and some of the luxury brands, mass market that you see here on the floor. That's phenomenal. Okay, well, you know, when you look around the show floor at CES, it's not commercial vehicles, it's not fleet, it's not agriculture, it's consumer, top of the range consumer vehicles. So it's really interesting to get that insight into the different sectors that actually need this technology. Uh, so let's jump into it. Like, what is Ready Upgrade and why was it created? Yeah, so, you know, uh, I, the way I love to picture it is um, I just say the name of the product. So there's only two things. It's Ready, it's Ready, and it's upgrade. Uh, and ready means that our customers can literally take this domain controller, bring it into their environment and start testing it today, which is extremely powerful. And this is about time to market, unmatched time to market. They can launch in as little as six months, save about 70% in development costs. It's, it's huge. And so that's the first part, it's ready. The second part is it's upgradable. And I want us to think about mobile devices in our personal lives, right? You have mobile devices, you have home technology, you get new mobile devices, new hardware every couple of years, you get new software all the time. If you wanted, um, you could take your phone out of your pocket and download a new experience, 10 new experiences right now. That doesn't exist in the automotive industry and that's what we are changing with Ready Upgrade. That's really fascinating. So listen, 70% of an improvement is no small potatoes. I've worked at companies where they have really tried hard to get a, you know, a 1% increase. It's, you know, they ring the bell at the, the quarterly meetings, 70%. This is incredible. Tell us more. I think it's really important for the industry. And the problem is when you have new experiences like this, the only way that you can get that in automotive is you go buy a new car. You cannot upgrade. That does not exist. And so that's one of the things that we're changing. And that's why for our domain controller, we are now gonna be more like a mobile device. New hardware every 24 months. We're gonna have new software every year with the latest Android dessert upgrade, as well as quarterly hotfixes. And we're gonna continue our mission to deliver more and more consumer experiences at automotive grade. That's phenomenal. It's a completely new paradigm for automotive. This has really never existed before. And it seems like it's the, you know, the combined might of Harman and all of the amazing teams and technology and connectivity and the Samsung partnership. It all comes together to really deliver something that we've never seen before. But, you know, it, it, there's all saying if, uh, if it was easy, somebody else would have done it before. Yeah. I mean, and this is new stuff. It's very tough to do, but you have done it. Talk to us about some of the obstacles that you've overcome when building Ready Upgrade. Yeah, so, so like you said, it's easier said than done. Right, so when you think about hardware and software, we have to think about how do we create a more modular approach that's actually gonna scale across different customer segments and different customers, and how do we have software that's going to have rigorous testing so that it's gonna have the quality that OEMs expect in the automotive industry. And so we spent a lot of time trying to formulate how this product needs to come together and how do we sustain it and scale it over time for all of our customers. 
Nice. I mean, that's a win-win right there. It's all this unique technology, this expertise, the teamwork coming in, and it's a brand new experience for the consumer and for the OEMs. I love it. So talk to us, you know, take us a bit more under the hood. Talk to us about some of the key technologies that are part of Ready Upgrade. What, what should the folks at home be aware of? Yeah, so I've been having this conversation with a lot of our OEMs and talking about what are some of our methodologies from a software perspective and why is it why does it actually matter for them? So the first one that we talk about is common software. And so one of the things that we've done as we develop this, this plat software platform is we have common software. We have one software branch that goes across our entire portfolio. And so the way that I love to describe it to an OEM is just think about if you have a bug, a software bug, and you fix it. And now what you can do is you can do a single push to your entire vehicle lineup. Now we're not talking about just one vehicle. We're talking about your entry vehicle all the way to your flagship in a single push. This is really about driving speed and velocity, right? So that's the first thing is common software. The second one is scale clockwork. The way I love to describe this, is it's like CICD on fire. So yes, we have test automation coverage daily, every two weeks, every quarter, Right, but now we're not doing it just on a single product, but we're doing it across an entire vehicle line, which is really powerful. And it is about increased quality and consistency, not just for one vehicle, but for the entire line, which is very powerful. Last but not least is SOC Agnostic. There is, uh, we really wanna be able to grow with the market, right? And so we've designed our software to be able to work on any SOC. So case in point this year, we're announcing one of our new products called Mainstream. Um, previously, we offered it on the Samsung Exynos 700 series chip, but this year we're announcing that we're, it's going to be available in 2026 um, on the Qualcomm chip, right? So this is about how do we pivot and adjust and grow with the market based on what customers need and want in their vehicles. Oh, that's fabulous. And, you know, it seems like there's a lot of empathy in there. There's a lot of looking at the customer journey and actually figuring out what the customer needs and wants before they know exactly what they need and want. It's already there in their vehicle, thanks to their OEM partnership with Harman Automotive. Brilliant. Um, now, one of the things you mentioned earlier was improving that time to market. Now, I imagine building one of these cutting edge automobiles is not the, the quickest of processes. There's so many ingredients to go in, so many considerations with manufacturing, engineering, electrics, ecosystems, etc. What impact does the time to market have and, and what's the role of Ready Upgrade in improving this time to market? Yeah, yeah, and I think that's a powerful aspect that I was talking about earlier when I was talking about Ready and Upgrade because OEMs, and I've been telling them this, and I'm like, look guys, if you want to take our domain controller home with you today with the hardware and software, you can literally do that and start developing. We have tools, we have developer tools that allow you to do vehicle adaptation, not in sometimes that could take like like six plus months. We can do it in days because we're auto-generating code in the background for some of these, these, these mappings with Android and the vehicle. And so it's these really powerful tools that allow OEMs to just launch to market so much faster than they could have dreamed to do before in the past. That is a huge impact. I mean, anything that can help the OEMs stay ahead of the competition, meet those consumer expectations quicker, be the first people in front of them with some of this amazing technology. That's just an instant win. That makes so much sense. Um, but talk to us about some of the new features and functions that Ready Upgrade is showing at CES here in Las Vegas. Our mission is about delivering new consumer experiences automotive grade. And so this year is no different. And our proof point for that is um, everywhere in the, the the floor here at CES. And so we have a new Harman avatar called Luna, and it's part of the Ready Engage family. Behind that is it needs to be powered by a voice personal assistant. And there are basic ones, but what we've decided to do is implement a AI assistant behind the scenes. So we are trying to be smart about it, and we developed a, a more flexible framework so that our OEMs can use any AI that they wanted. But in order to demonstrate, we've selected a really special partner, Serence, and I actually have them here on the floor with me this week. And we integrated the Serence AI Assistant. So this is both conversational and it's intelligent. When you're on the show floor, we're showing these really powerful experiences where you can have hands-free experiences in the car. The car now is working with all of the Harman products where you can have all the, all the ready products now are being proactive in identifying emotion, stress, tiredness and trying to take action and to help and assist the user and that's possible because of the avatar and because of this AI assistant that's powering it behind the scenes and all this is running on Ready Upgrade. 
I mean, I'm glad you mentioned Luna because Luna is the hit of CES. Luna is an adorable anthropomorphic doggy that sits on your dashboard with her sparkly eyes and gives you, oh, everyone loves Luna. You know, what's not to love about Luna? And we actually saw Luna make a cameo in the keynote held yep. by Samsung the other day. That is huge. So listen, congratulations there. Now, one of the things that strikes me about everything you're speaking about is how fast technology moves. You know, we have upgrades, we have connectivity, we have next generation in-car displays, you know, thanks to some great equipment from Samsung. We have all that amazing heritage of Harman as a the leading audio brand coming into the cockpit as well. So you are really making a wonderful kind of, you know, near future for consumer experiences, automotive grade, where all of this comes together absolutely seamlessly. But I know it's not just about the products that people are walking out with the, you know, a box under their arm with a bit of Ready Upgrade or Ready Connect, etc. It's also about what happens next. So I know that you look very far into the future. Where is all of this leading in a way that might be interesting for OEMs who want to future-proof their solutions? Yeah, so that's a really interesting point. And, um, and as we're having these conversations on the floor, we're not, and, and some of the, our listeners may not know this, we're not having conversations about 2025 vehicles. We're talking about vehicles that are much further out in the future, 26, 27, even further out. And so we really need to be able to look ahead. And you know, as I was talking about before, there is this paradigm that's in our lives where we have consumer experiences that come so quickly to us everywhere, in our home, on our mobile, but not in the automotive industry. I think what's going to differentiate OEMs is their ability to deliver those experiences in the car and how fast they can do that. And then you think about some future technologies that are coming like autonomous driving. And as we as we progress and achieve higher levels, I think what content you have in the car, what you can do in the car is going to become more important. So we're really thinking out in the future. We're trying to help OEMs future proof and prepare for what's coming because they need to and we need to be able to deliver these types of experiences faster and we need to do it with quality that the automotive customers deserve. Well said. My goodness. I mean, it's such an exciting future ahead. You know, you are obviously working with the OEM partners about delivering these experiences and I can well imagine a scenario in the future where I am in my autonomous vehicle. I'm listening on an amazing Harman branded audio system. I'm watching a movie on a beautiful Samsung screen and it's all getting updated thanks to Ready Upgrade. So this is just brilliant stuff. Mike Warren, I know you've got a busy schedule. Thank you so much for joining us on the Always Ready podcast. Oshin, thank you very much. I was glad to be here. Folks at home, I hope you're as excited about the future of automotive intelligence as I am and as we are here at CES 2025. Don't forget to visit car.harman.com and explore.harman.com if you'd like to get your hands on much more cool stuff, interviews, podcasts, content, videos, everything you need to know about automotive intelligence and where it's all going in the future. Please do also share with your friends, family, colleagues, and loved ones and spread the word about the Always Ready podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see See you next time.